what's up lovers so somebody told me in the comments you guys are not my lovers i don't give a fuck i decided you guys are my lovers and that's what it is no i'm not crazy anyways today i want to make a video about 10 habits that attractive men have that women cannot resist they cannot so now you can get whoever you want a lot of people think that women only want your money they're only interested in your car how your apartment looks are you gonna buy her the last designer but i'm telling you when you start dealing with like real women which i hope that's what you're intending to do um there's stuff that women really appreciate in men and then men sometimes are not even aware of so that's what i want to talk to you about today and there is like 10 habits that you can start doing for yourself that will make you actually more attractive number one easy one being authentic be yourself because being yourself i know again i always say it but it sounds cliche but who cares if it sounds cliche it is the truth i don't want to talk to somebody that's gonna pretend to be somebody that they're not because again they cannot pretend forever eventually their real self is gonna come out and if i don't like it then i'm out so yeah just fucking be yourself i don't want your fucking representative because even sometimes the representative is not good either so just be yourself instead of putting so much pressure on you uh, always having to like pretend and be that person that you think she's gonna like fucking be yourself she don't like how you are you get the fuck out or she gets the fuck out like who cares somebody is gonna like how you really are so be authentic number two something that's really really attractive i mean i am a sucker for it somebody that stands up for himself and stands up for others like for like maybe somebody that's weaker maybe for women maybe for like older people that's such an attractive trait i'm telling you like i don't know if i'm on the street and i see something going down i might be scared to go help out who knows like as women we might be scared but like as a dude if you see that somebody is doing something wrong to somebody else and then you step in and you're like yo what's up like this is such a turn on i'm not saying go get killed do you know that's not what i'm saying but if it's like a little situation like and you're like yo what's up like you know trying to like separate i don't know maybe it's not safe i don't know but again i'm telling you that's a t turn on so if you can stand up for yourself like when somebody does something crazy to you you're like yo what's up what you doing like that's a turn on because if it's like somebody does something crazy to you and i'm here and i'm borderline the one talking to that person being like yo what the fuck you said like i'm gonna be like yo you couldn't stand up for yourself like to me that sounds crazy but hopefully you stand up for yourself because you guys are quality men and you know what the fuck you have and you're confident and you're not gonna let people talk crazy to you that's number two number three having a constant grooming routine i'm telling you this shit goes a long way like just first of all the woman is going to be more attracted to you because she's going to think you're clean that you're um attentionate that you pay attention to details that you like to look good and take care of yourself like it goes on the health too because i'm telling you the thing that we see is like you know how you guys feel when you get a fresh cut how you feel like yo i'm on top of the world like i had a i have a friend he calls it uh f and f because he goes and get a haircut every friday and it's like fine nigga friday i mean to me he's hilarious but when he gets the shape up, i mean you know guys how you feel you get a shape up a lineup i don't know how you call it you guys feel like yo i'm the man so i'm telling you if you do that on a regular you're gonna feel like the man your confidence level is gonna be higher it's gonna be way more attractive to women and then like taking care of your nails i'm not saying you have to go to the nail salon and i know there's jobs where your nails are gonna be dirty often but you know taking care of your nails taking care of how you smell what you wear and again i'm not talking about wearing designer but just having some style and looking clean this goes a long way and that's something you should add to your routine because looking good equal feeling good i'm telling you when i go and go on the street looking raggedy i don't know how much i feel about myself like not saying i feel bad about myself but i'm not feeling like oh my god i'm the shit but when i go and dress up i'm like okay i'm feeling good i'm like you know thinking shit somebody might come and talk to me today you know something like that so you guys the haircut that's the main thing to me the haircut if you guys have a beard please make sure your beard is groomed too that's the point why you have a beard i guess maybe you have a beard so you don't groom at all because you you're lazy and you don't want to shave every day i don't know but i'm telling you looking clean and good 
goes a long way obviously number four please be approachable and that's something that can be learned like often I, I, I used to be like this no be open arm never cross your arm stand tall like I'm a little like Quasimodo sometimes I'm like stand tall open yourself look friendly you know that's something that if you can do that on a regular even when you don't like the girl I'm telling you it's just gonna attract more girls to come towards you because they're not gonna be scared to talk to you they're not gonna look at you oh he's mean he's always like this he's always slouching like you know just be proud of who you are I'm the fucking man and that's what I bring to the fucking table what's up number five have a physical health routine like that helps like tremendously I know I'd be lazy but like I know when I force myself to go and work out regularly after the workout I feel so much better it's like it helps with stress it helps with I don't know making me feel better about myself making me feel good and so I'm not saying go to the gym like every day I mean if you can do it but I'm saying just go for a walk or go for a run go do something go hiking go do something because I'm telling you it does something good good to your soul and then that goes with number six you gotta keep and then that goes with number six you gotta have a um, mental health routine also so I'm not saying you gotta go see a therapist but you can that's you know there's no shame with seeing a therapist or if you prefer to just stay to yourself you can meditate i meditate every day and i feel so much better as soon as i do it i might woke up like feeling crappy and then i do it for like 10 20 minutes and i feel better so i'm telling you it really helps like just being there with your thoughts and sitting and just relaxing nobody bothering you i'm telling you it really helps so make sure you have something like this for your mental that would help you it's like you gotta take care of your mind because if you don't how are you gonna succeed in life and feel good about yourself Number seven, I am telling you, attractive men, confident men, excuse me, actually compliment people. And I know you guys might say, oh, this is simping, and oh, no, no, no. I'm not even telling you to compliment women. I'm telling you, you can compliment a man that's good looking or compliment a man that's nicely dressed. Compliment a woman because she's pretty. Like, and it doesn't mean like you, you're into her or anything. You might just saw and you're like, you appreciate the beauty. You appreciate the effort that he put into what he's wearing today. It's just, I'm telling you, giving compliments to people go a long way because it makes people feel good. It makes people remember you. And then I think when I give people compliments, he brings me happiness too because I made somebody feel special and then i see it right away so i guess it's a little selfish in a way i mean i do mean what i say but like seeing somebody like face lighting up because they i gave them a compliment makes me feel good too so it's a win-win everybody wins so why not do it and it's no simping like all this oh my god the the animal wasn't agreeing with me i guess but it's not simping the animal was alpha so <laughs> yes give compliments to people that's something attractive people actually do on a regular number eight be well mannered say thank you to people who help you out to do stuff for you people at restaurant people who hold the door for you how many times i hold the door and people don't say fucking thank you i want to fucking slam that shit on their face not saying i was doing it to get the thank you but i'm like damn you can't even say thank you though so i'm telling you it matters it matters like the same like it made me mad kind of so it matters say thank you to the people who are helping you out it doesn't cost you nothing and that's an attractive trait to a man and women love their shit like and that that is well mannered that like when we go to the restaurant he says please he say thank you like he's not like yo can i get somewhat like i fucking hate that shit i'd be embarrassed and maybe I shouldn't, but I'd be embarrassed because again, I worked in the restaurant industry. So people talking to me like this, I would be ignoring them. Or if I really need to go there because there's somebody and they told me to be really nice to these people or whatever, I would go. But my image of them wouldn't be the greatest. And I don't know. So then when I go out, you gotta be well-mannered. At least, I mean, you can eat like a pig if you don't know how to eat. I can be okay with that, but you mistreating the waiter, never that's never gonna go so don't do it and then again why do you need to mistreat the waiter like what's the point 
Like they did something to you, they're bringing you your food, they're helping you out, it makes no sense. And number nine, another thing that women find very attractive is a man that's ambitious. It's a win-win. You're ambitious, so you accomplish your shit, and then she sees it, and now she's even more attracted to you because she's like, damn, you got goals, you got like a passion for something. That's just very attractive. I'm telling you, it works all the time. And then again, I'm not talking about no gold diggers or no uh low women low quality women that's for the women with high quality i'm telling you they would appreciate that a hundred times and number 10 another habit that you can have that would really help you and that's really attractive is having hobbies having hobbies like allow you to recharge to feel better to get out of the city i don't know what hobby is yours but you know it's like it makes you feel good and you need that and know the society is acting like oh it's always about work 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 no it's not at some point how do you want me to work if i feel fucked up i can't so i need those hobbies i need this time to myself i need the mental health i need all of that to be successful and i'm telling you if you have these 10 habits in your life it's gonna shine through i'm telling you the women are not gonna like they might not even be able to point out what you're doing really but they're just gonna feel good in your presence they're just gonna feel attracted and you're not even gonna have to do much to attract the high quality women that you want they're just gonna feel it and gonna be attracted so that's all i have for you guys uh pretty much i really believe that everybody can be fucking attractive it's not just uh like oh you gotta have the perfect 10 face it's not about that it's about how you take care of yourself your personality uh your grooming your clothes uh your mental health it's everything how you think it's really everything so for anybody that don't feel like they're attractive it's probably because you need to work on yourself and like once you start feeling good about how you are and what you're portraying it's gonna shine outwardly like I, I know it sounds cliche i don't know today i'm a little like maybe in the sky la, 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 you know but i'm telling you by putting all this good stuff like just positive stuff inside of you eventually when you talk when you outside even without talking just the energy that's gonna come out of you is just gonna be all positive and then it's gonna start shining on the outside and people are gonna be like damn he's fine you know so that's all i got and I hope that was helpful. I hope like you got to put those in your routine. They're not difficult. It's just you got to get with the program and stick to it. It's not hard. And it's mostly free besides getting clothes. But it's mostly free. And it's mostly in your benefit. So, all right, guys. I will talk to you. When? When am I going to talk to you? Tomorrow. 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 Good night.